Hello, my name is Vinarasi and I work as an assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Roorkee, India. My primary research focus is on improving the existing water resource management system and infrastructure to better tackle the expected hydrological extreme events. One of the most pressing water related issue which I see around me is the contamination of river basins. This contamination poses a significant threat to food and water security which is further aggravated by climate induced extremes. The contamination of water together with weather extremes has adverse effect on human health agriculture, livelihood, and the ecosystem. Generally, when studying weather extremes such as heavy rainfall and drought, the quality of the water is often overlooked. Vice versa, when studying water quality, weather extremes are sometimes neglected. Hence, it is crucial to tackle both the quantity and quality aspects of the extremes in a holistic manner, particularly in the context of compound extremes. For instance, the use of polluted river water for irrigation in the contaminated basin has resulted in bioaccumulation, bioconcentration and biomagnification. Additionally, the quality of water is being further reduced by extreme weather. For example, elevated temperatures amplify the salinity of the already polluted water. On the other hand, during a flood, contaminated river water enters residential area, sewage leaks and mixes with storm water, amplifying the risk of flood on public health. Hence, it is crucial to investigate the cumulative influence of these extremes on water quality to gain a comprehensive understanding of their impact on the ecosystem. These are some of the pictures of a Ganga Basin where I currently work. To promote sustainable agricultural practices, it is important to conduct thorough sampling and testing to better understand the extent of pollution on water resources and crop health. By implementing best management practices such as agricultural and storm water management, we can work towards reducing the solute transport and improving the overall quality of water and soil. We also need to develop low cost and portable treatment plants that can effectively treat contaminated river water for irrigation purposes. To better understand the risk associated with our environment, we must shift our focus towards compound risk assessment as individual risk quantification is no longer sufficient. By working together and taking proactive measures, we can help build a healthier and more sustainable future for ourselves and future generations. The expertise of atmospheric scientists, water resource engineers, environmental engineers, agricultural scientists, biotechnologists and economists is essential. But we can't stop there. We also need to actively involve stakeholders such as farmers, NGOs and former training institutes to bring our research into practical application. By pooling our resources and knowledge, we can create a more sustainable future for everyone. Thank you.